because it was my mouth because I have some kind of crazy eye problem <sighs> and I can't wear my contacts so that really sucks um, but we're gonna go to the flea market the Nashville flea market it's actually on the same fairgrounds as the world fest that we went to and I vlogged about that um, might go to the zoo afterwards so that could be pretty fun um, if you see in the back, so Sal is obsessed with Beanie Babies, or he was when he was a kid. His grandmother used to get them for him, so he has a lot of Beanie Babies that he doesn't know what to do with. He doesn't want to throw them away, but he wants to give them to charity, and he hasn't really found anything just yet. Um, or like we, since we just moved to Nashville, we don't know the area, but we'll figure something out. Those are the ones he's getting rid of. Um, I feel like I look really old. vlogging and I will do my best to keep the camera steady so um I think I'm gonna throw up watching this. Um Patio furniture. Sal's putting it together. Mm -hmm. How's it going? It's going. It's Is it out. easy? It's so hot outside. Yeah, it's easy, but I'm just putting so hot outside. I feel gross. Are you almost done? Yeah. Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Get a view of the chair. Yeah. These are the chairs. They look nice with the. Actually, they really match the brown color of the house. Yeah. Nice save for that umbrella that goes into the table. Uh huh. That's gonna be nice. I miss you. You too, dear. I love you. I was gonna like okay. I'm actually like watching here. vlogs myself. I never watch Makeup by Tiffany's vlogs, but 
I actually just found them. I used to watch her beauty videos. I really like her. She is like very thorough, I feel like. Her videos always have a lot of like conversation and then like a half hour, which I don't mind actually. I don't mind when vlogs are really long. As long as I like the person and they're interesting. So, something that I wanted to discuss is like my home decor because this is a really small place and I am actually thinking about what to do here. So, I'm going to get possibly two new chairs that are really cool from One King's Lane that I actually found from another vlogger. Kitty, what? And on her website, like on her blog, she just mentioned these two polka dot chairs. I was like, damn, like, I love polka dot chairs, but I don't think I've ever had one. And there was never really a way for me to incorporate it into the design because everything is blue and gray and these are black and white. But the thing is, I'm thinking, and excuse the house is a complete mess and it's very small, but... It is two bedrooms. I don't know. It's supposed to be a thousand square feet, but I don't think it is. And we have one gray chair. This gray chair I got off line. I think it was design or designerliving.com. Um, and it's really, really nice. Actually, it's great quality. It feels like it would be in a therapist's office or like a psychologist's office or something. It's just really, really nice. And then this chair, I also got offline, I think from lampsplus.com, which I highly, highly suggest because they have incredible sales. Um, and I was dying for this chair. Of course, now there's a bunch of stuff on it. In fact, I should probably move this stuff. Side note, this is one of my favorite musicians, Mayor Hawthorne. We went to his show in Nashville at Marathon Music Works. And we met him and got his autograph, which is like unbelievable. I love him so much. And it's funny because I've met like a lot of different people that I love, like just because of being crazy <laughs> and like waiting after concerts or going to meet and greets or whatever, like going to Broadway shows and meeting people and stuff like that. Um, especially when I was a little bit younger. <laughs> and um, these are some earrings um but even like despite how famous they are so for instance like if I met you know like John Mayer or something like that which obviously I love John Mayer if you saw my last vlog but Mayer Hawthorne might not be as famous so it might not be as exciting of like oh my god it's like Johnny Depp and I just met him and it's we're so lucky to have met him but I love his music so much and I've been listening to him for so long that it just meant the world to me and I was so scared. I didn't know what to say to him. It was like ridiculous, but my husband actually helped a lot. He said some nice things to him and everything. Um, but so I'm thinking about these two chairs, like moving them someplace, even though they do match with like the blue and gray theme, but I'm thinking changing the rug to a rug from my other favorite website, which is Rugs USA. And this is where this one is from as well. Changing this rug out. Um, getting a turquoise rug. So still staying with the colors that I really like. They've always been my favorite colors. Turquoise. The same couch. Then the two black and white chairs. And then moving that chair someplace like over here. Because like we have a side corner here that we can move it to. Putting that chair in the bedroom and then possibly even selling these two chairs <clears throat> like this one is vintage um it's also like a tufted style vintage chair that i got from um an antique flea market in new jersey and then this one is from target and i got this brand new for like 200 dollars, but then after spending $200 on it, I used it in my old house, in the living room, and then never really, like, used it again. Because even though I still really like it, it's just, like, I don't know. Like, even the way it's filming right now, I love it, but I don't really know what to do with it. It's so weird. I don't, I don't want to get rid of it, but I also can't have the house be, like, 
a warehouse, which is what my husband always says it's going to end up looking like. So I don't know. And there's like so many other things I want to do, but as you can see, the house is already full of stuff, so it's going to get more cluttered unless I buy new things and then get rid of everything. Um, and then here, so I was desperate for a cocktail ottoman at our last place. And I cover this, I put like a card over this because my cat just constantly takes those things out and goes to play with them all over the house and then we find them underneath everything. But now I'm like, okay, well if I get a turquoise like stylish, like different type of like edgy style turquoise rug with two edgy chairs on the side, I need something different. This gives more of like a comforted, like almost like rustic barn sort of look for some reason and I really want like a silver edgy maybe possibly circular if not mirrored side or coffee table to go with everything if I change it up but the only thing I can say is like these chairs were really expensive that's like over $500 in chairs right here between these two so I can't just like not use them for something I also am very frustrated that the gray in the couch is so much lighter than the gray in this chair. And I don't like mixing so many different types of gray. I'm okay with mixing different blues more than different grays for some reason. As you can see, the gray in the couch, the chair, and the ottoman just are not the same color. So that's very infuriating to me. Um, and then in the kitchen, like there's literally like little bits of clutter, which is my least favorite thing, everywhere. Like, literally, <laughs> like, there's this stuff over here. Um, we just brought this in. This is our sandwich from Subway. This is really cool. We just went to the Nashville Flea Market, which will probably be in this vlog, too. But the one and only thing I purchased there was this bottle opener with a skull. I collect skull things. Um, there's, like, one clean spot in the entire kitchen, which is really ridiculous. Um... But yeah, like there's just a bunch of stuff everywhere. Like these are things that we have to go through, like old mail, samples from Sephora. This is a rug my grandmother actually sent me and I don't even know what to do with it, but it's really cute. And it's made in India. Um, it is really cute though, I'm sure the cat would love it. But I just, I don't know what to do with it yet. So you get into these situations where it's like, okay, well, there's all this stuff that you don't want to throw away and where do you put it? Especially in a small space. So that's something I'm going to have to figure out. I knew the cat would like it. She's going to scratch at it. Okay. So now I guess I'll show some stuff that I got from the other day. We went to Home Goods. We went to Home Goods yesterday and I bought, oh yeah, I bought, um, a new thing for my makeup, like a new makeup case. And then I also bought these little diamonds. Um, they might actually be over here. Yeah, let's take a look over here. What can you, what? Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what I got. What? Okay, so in Home Goods I got these, they're, they say water lights, but I'm using them. They come with like a little thing to light up, like almost lantern style with like a little candle. But I'm going to use the diamonds inside to fill like either um, a vase with flowers. So these at the bottom or just like a really cool, like there's so many nice decorative bowls that I have that have nothing inside of them. And then if you put something inside of them, you can't see the inside of the bowl, which is usually the nicest part. So I think I'm going to like put these in and they're clear. So it will look really nice. And I've actually been looking for these. I saw them someplace else. They were super ridiculously expensive. Okay, so <laughs> we went to uh, Rue 21, which we had never been to before. But what enticed me was they had like $2 racks outside of the store. So I was like, okay, I see some really cute patterns. And for $2, like, why not give it a try? So I got this. This was literally, it says $9.95 on it. It was like $4 or $5. It's really cute though. And I went to the Route 21 in West Nashville, Tennessee. So you can see. It's 
so cute. And I got another shirt that was like this except without the pattern. It was just like a different color, like blue and gray. And um, that was also four or five dollars. And then I got this, which was only three dollars for my husband. And he said this was salmon pink on the top, which I think it actually probably is. Don't mind the camera, I'm just trying to adjust. But three dollars. This was three dollars. A men's like size medium shirt for three dollars. And it was definitely not bad originally. It says $13.90. And it was originally $14.99, which is a good price in itself. So then, in the same area in West Nashville, which is actually a really cool shopping area, we went to Ross, which I'm also not familiar with. Being from New Jersey, we don't have Ross. But I lived in Virginia for a little while, which they have Rosses all over the place. I got a queen-size sheet set. And it kind of goes with like the whole blue and gray, obviously, as usual. Um, and it was $17.99 and I just feel like that's an amazing deal and it looks so small like normally when you get a queen size sheet set it's normally really thick and this is like really really thin so I'm actually hoping that there's like the full queen um, sheet set that it says that there is because it does say there's like two pillowcases flat fitted whatever but we'll see and I got two pillows uh, also at Ross because they were really soft I don't know if you can see that but our pillows are pretty old, and since we always get like inexpensive ones, they get bad pretty fast. By the way, I also feel like if I'm boring, it's because I'm not comfortable on camera yet, even just talking on camera, let alone showing my face. Um, so I'm kind of going with the method that all the other people go with that I've seen vlogs, but once I get my personality in check on camera, I think that'll be a lot more fun. <laughs> Um, but so we also went to Marshall's and I always feel obligated to get something in Marshall's because everything is so cute and inexpensive that even if it's not like, oh my God, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. I feel like I still have to get something. So this actually was something amazing that I found. These are uh, pillows. These are towels that are also really soft. They're Nicole Miller brand, I think, which is always in Marshall's every single place, but they're really nice quality. They were actually $10.00 which is a lot for one towel, like one basic like bath towel, but they were so nice. The pattern is so nice that I had to get two just to go. And as Sal likes to joke, like I probably won't let anybody use them, but I feel like towels, unless they're really, really high quality towels, they get messed up fast and I don't want that to happen. So that is why. Now the other thing I got at Marshall's was for the cat. And originally, so we went there one time the other day, we saw these, okay? So look at how cute that is with the gold detail and actually quite similar color, um, blue, like bluish seafoam green to the towels. And we saw these in the dining area and I was like, they kind of look like dog bowls, but maybe I can use them for cereal bowls because they were so cute and they were only $2.99. So then I didn't get them because I was like, this is weird. I don't know what to do with them. And then, well, Sal was like, oh, well, even if they're dog bowls, you like them. You can use them for whatever the hell you want, which is true. But I still felt weird eating out of a dog bowl. And so then I saw them again the last time we were there. And I was like, I have to get them. They are just too cute. And for $2.99, whatever. And I was in the mood to shop. And they match the freaking towels, which makes no sense. But that's how people work sometimes when they're shopaholics. And so now I can give them to my cat. I'm going to use one for water, one for food. Actually, she's going over to her food right now. So interesting thing was that she had a really cute set that was lifted up like to help her neck. And it broke. I actually broke it by dropping like a ceramic thing in our old kitchen right on top of it. Luckily, she was not there. But so then there was like one, which is this, the orange one left. We had to throw out the whole thing that it stood on to help her neck. Um, the other bowl was completely smashed that had her food in it. So then we gave her like one of our little casserole things to eat out of with the handles. And so they've been mismatched for like the past six months. And now she'll have nice new ones. Unfortunately, they're not elevated, but we'll figure that out. We can probably put it on something. So, that's pretty much it. Now I have to figure out what to do with all that. 
Now, I know this is getting long now, but something else I wanted to mention was Candy Johnson had said that she uses this in an old whitening video of hers. And I like found it while searching YouTube for like whitening solutions. So this was like $8 at Walmart. And because of her, I totally implicitly trust it. And I hope that that's the right choice. I have not used it yet, but I'm very much looking forward to. My teeth are just unbelievably yellow. And if I'm ever going to be on camera for this stuff, I really, I know I need to whiten them. Or at least try my best so I can tell people if anybody watches this stuff, like, well, I tried, you know, like, when they, like, start bad-mouthing me, like, whiten your teeth. Well, I tried. I don't know what to tell you. Some people have yellow teeth. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to sign off now. But I will talk to you soon. Bye.